In this lesson, we're going to discuss some quick keyboard shortcuts that we can use to move between Explorer windows, such as the Package Explorer and the Project Explorer, and how we can use arrow keys to navigate and expand different packages and different files within our project. So if we have our project open, but we don't have any file editors open at this time, and we want to move between Explorer windows, we can simply select Control and Page Up or Page Down. Now that will move us between the Project Explorer and the Package Explorer that I currently have open. If you have other Explorer windows open, of course you would continue to rotate through those. Now the really nice thing about the Project Explorer window over here on the left is that if I want to simply move between files and folders or packages, I can easily do that using arrow keys. If I move up, you can see that I can quickly navigate all the way up or all the way down just by using the arrow keys. But the really handy features are the left and right arrows. If I hit left, it will contract my open expansions and ultimately take me all the way back to the top. If I hit right, of course that re-expands those different packages. And you can drill in and look at different items inside of each of these just using your arrow keys. So I'm not using the mouse at all and I'm able to quickly look at files or packages. One other thing that's really nice to note is if I go all the way to the top level and I contract everything or collapse everything and I hit the left, essentially it collapses everything. But when I hit right, it brings it back to my previous view. So it didn't collapse everything recursively. Essentially, it left everything else the way it was, which is really handy because a lot of times we don't want to have to re-expand certain projects or certain packages each time we were to do that. I want to quickly look at a couple other ways that we can, now that we're in this file structure over here on the left, open files and work with them without even using the mouse. So whatever file I'm on, perhaps pair, I could simply hit F3. F3 would then open my pair class. And I can control M to expand it. But let's say I don't want to see it anymore. I could control W and that will close my window. Now again, the control key on the Macintosh is the command key. So just command M to maximize, command W to close, and F3 to open. So we can open up, and then once we're in the window, do you have to reselect over here to get back into our navigation? We could open up another file. Control W, of course, closes. And that essentially takes a really good look for us at some of the command key shortcuts that we can use to quickly navigate through files, get things open, get things closed without necessarily having to use the mouse.